Hey guys, today we're going to review another power bank. Yay! <laughs> I know, it seems kind of tedious, guys, but in the end, anything to try and help you guys save a couple of bucks, you know, I'm willing to do it. So, Romas got a hold of me after seeing my, my video on the Sense 6 power bank, which is a really decent for the money power bank. And I picked this power bank out to review because it has a little bit of a nicer feature that will help with you guys if you're going to travel or whatnot. And I have to also admit, I had a little bit of a selfish streak, and I actually kind of got this for myself because I was going on vacation. Uh, this is a power bank and wall adapter in one which is kind of awesome because oftentimes if you bring a power bank with you, it means you also have to bring a, a USB wall plug in order to charge it. So me being gone for, you know, a week and a half, I could bring a power bank and, you know, like I said, a wall charger and all that, or this, which is pretty much plug and play wherever I want to go and pretty handy and worked out very well for me. It, uh, you know, of course, folds away. This is only a 10,000 milliamp hour uh, power bank, so it is a little bit uh, bulky for what it is, but you have to bear in mind, you also have the, you know, wall adapter and all that built into this. So, you have two ports, your typical, um, what you get out of pretty much every USB nowadays, which is a, uh, a one amp and a two amp for a total of three amps. Pretty much never going to get three full amps out of these. Uh, you're usually going to get two and a half or so when you're running two things at once. Um, I do get two amps out of the uh, two amp bay when just running one thing, but not when running two. You have your little LED, and I know this is like empty right now. Your little LED power display. You just hit the button, and that will uh, tell you where you're at for power. It charges in a couple hours, probably about uh, three hours. I believe in the bottom here. Let's see if it's going to zoom for me here. Okay. So you can hear it. You have the UP10. You have the uh, 37 watt hours on there, plus all your certifications. All right. So testing. That's what you're really here for, guys. How did this thing pan out? Not bad at all. And you're going to start to see some uh, images uh, cut in here as well of my test results uh, using an electronic dummy load and a USB capacity tester, which is this guy right here. I was able to determine that this has um, about 6,850 uh, milliamp hours available. And I know you said, but what is 10,000? Okay, I've gone over this in a couple of videos already, but we're going over it real quick. Uh, there is a conversion because the batteries in these are 3.7 volts and USB is 5 volts. So there is a conversion and efficiency is lost in that process. Um, some power banks will go from anywhere from like 75% efficient up to like 97%, which are like the best on the market. This one here, if you do the calculations, the most... If it were 100% efficient, could only have 7,400 milliamp hours. I measured this out at 6850, which is about 92% efficient. So it fell right in line with the Sense 6 and most of the other low budget um, power banks that I've tested. So this thing does have a, uh, a good quality to it. Obviously it works well and uh, the uh, capacity is good and it converts very well. I think anything over 90% is high quality as far as I'm concerned. I do have a couple that convert at like 75 and 80. Um, I don't review those kind of power banks for you guys. When they show up at the door here and people send them, if they don't get to 90, I typically, you know, don't review them unless they're something special. So this particular one right here, I think is a very nice uh, for the money. It's a little more expensive than your, you know, $20 power banks, but at the same time, you have that convenience of having your wall plug along with your power bank. It's a pretty tough case too. It's pretty thick, a little bit on the heavy side, guys, but you know, in the end, you know, this Romas is uh, really nice. It was very handy on vacation because I could just plug this in wherever I wanted. I didn't need to bring things with me. So as we kind of went around and did things and went places, uh, visited family and stuff like that, I can bring this and just literally plug it into someone's outlet without 
a bunch of stuff and you know it fits in the pants pocket guys you can literally put that in your pants pocket and carry it it's not big it's not bulky it's not uh any sort of a problem so definitely a uh a power bank i recommend you know like i said it's not the most efficient on the market um i've you know i've tested some ones that were 97 percent, but it's very good for the money and that feature of the uh the plug just makes this an absolute uh beautiful little power bank for travel so i wanted to throw that out there for you guys and uh thanks to romas for helping support the channel they were very glad to see the review on the sense 6 and now here's the up 10 and uh once again it, it didn't disappoint at all and uh it really is a they're going to be a good name in the uh, low budget uh power banks